we are going to introduce the forehand smash from here. For the preparation, make sure you use the forehand grip for the shot. Next, when you play the shot, lift your non racket arm to balance up the weight of your racket arm. This is very important because it helps you to maintain the body balance. After you hit the shuttle, follow through and complete the swing. Your body should face forward after you swing your racket. Then, shuffle back to the ready position at the middle of the court. The smash is undoubtedly a strong weapon in a match but should be used only when you expect it to be winner as you expend a lot of energy. It's not about smashing hard but smashing smart. Next, we are going to introduce the backhand smash. We split the tutorial in three parts. The preparation, the shot, and the recovery. First, make sure you're using a backhand grip. Next, for the shot, drop your elbow behind slowly with the racket. Head pointing downward and rotate your elbow fast. When you strike the shotgun, the point of contact is more or less in the line with the body with the shutter a little away on the side. Last, the recovery part. Once you hit the shutter, land with racket foot behind, shutter back and get back the ready position at middle. That's a wrap. Make sure you always practice it so that you can perform well in smash. The last type of smashing, jumping smash. Let's see how to perform jumping smash. When we are going to do jumping smash, make sure your leg set off and throw your arm in the air for maximum jump height. Bend your legs and extend your non racket arm and arch your back. Rotate your hip and flex abdominals so that the maximum power can be transferred. Besides, remember to land with feet pointing upward for maximum forward momentum. What is net lift? This is a net lift. To do forehand net lift, we have some steps. First, preparation step, use the forehand grip and make sure your racket is in front of your body. 2. Back swing. Have a relaxed range and rotate your arm outward and back grip. 3. Forward swing. Straighten your wrist and hit through the shot. 4. Follow through. Follow through the step by rotate your arm inwards. We have backhand net lift too and it is similar to forehand except using the backhand grip. Now, you will learn about forehand net kill. A forehand net kill is an aggressive shot to end the rally when the opponent has hit a loose shot. First, when you side a loose shot, side step forward toward the net and launch on the racket foot forward the shutter and extend the non racket arm to the side to help you balance. Remember to tighten the grip as you flick the shutter. It should be as high as possible so that the angle is sharp and the shutter lens close to the net. The action should be compact and controlled too. Make sure you didn't use too much power and this will carry the shutter much further than you intended. And you could also end up hiding the net and using the mark. That's all for forehanded kill. Next, we learn backhanded kill. Let's see what is backhanded kill. For backhanded kill, it is similar to the forehand net kill, but we just use the backhand grip to perform it. 